Today, we're going to be looking at the most expensive gaming setups in the world. Everything from streamers' crazy gaming dens all the way up to technology and setups that no one's even seen before. If you're watching this video right now and you'd like me to share with you guys my gaming setup, because I've actually never done it properly before, give this video a big fat thumbs up and I'll do an Allier gaming setup. And if you don't want to miss that video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Thank you to everyone using code Allier in the store. We're going to be kicking off with number five. Yes, it is Tfue's setup. These are going to be ranked in the cost of their setup. Up. So, yeah, you know if Tifu's at number five, the rest of them are going to be crazy. With probably the biggest PC box I've ever seen in my life, it's almost as big as him. My PC case is huge. I didn't think there was a bigger one in the world than mine. This, however... Look at those four fans. It's, you could live inside that P PC case. It's so big. It's absolutely insane. Obviously, one of the most important parts of any streamers and gaming setup. If they're not on console or anything like that, it's definitely going to be their PC. And this is actually all done within his bedroom with his own custom TV to watch whatever he wants on at the end of his bed as well when he's chilling. Blackout blinds. So important. Personally, I need my room to be pitch black when I'm sleeping. And a crazy view of America with his own custom custom tea food chair as well. Everything totals together for a very expensive setup. Lighting of a setup is really important as well with a triple monitor setup. I actually have three as well. It's a lot of screens, but trust me, when you're making videos and you're streaming, you actually use all of that space. It's so important. Webcam setup as well. That's actually really inexpensive. These webcams are only like 100 pounds, hundred dollars. Anyone can afford them. For a startup streamer or even obviously the best in the world, it can work out for you. I actually have a little bit more of an expensive DSLR one. But here we've got a great microphone setup, keyboard setup, very extensive, uh, crazy audio setup, which is huge for streaming. I don't really know what I'm looking at there. I'd need an expert for that. Headphones are obviously really important. Shout out Turtle Beach. And uh, this is a giant flex. This watch is probably worth more than most people's setups. Uh, with diamonds on it, probably tens of thousands of dollars right there. Just in a watch, chilling on his desk. Oh, this is sick. I really want this. You can actually raise and lower the desk just by pressing buttons. I would love that. That is a big flex. This keyboard as well, tiny. Like, I mean, look at look at it compared to my huge one. Obviously, I don't really play keyboard and mouse, so for me, it's just a load of cool typing, but that one is very impressive. Now, what you'll often see with streamers, and the reason he's got two mice is because you'll have a dual PC setup, so a PC to play Fortnite or whatever game you're playing on, and then the PC that will stream, so that the one that's playing the game doesn't struggle at all, is super fast, performing really well. I would have no idea how to set that up. I just run off of one. And look how big it is. It doesn't even fit underneath his desk. That's how huge it is. And I, uh, the cost of that PC alone, probably looking at ten, fifteen thousand dollars. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Now, Tifu says his setup's around twenty thousand dollars. Honestly, with the watch, the PC, everything on there, I think we're looking closer thirty plus thousand dollars at number five on the most expensive gaming setups. Next up, oh my gosh, this is an insane project. It is obviously Ninja's streaming room. Fun fact: when uh, he first moved house, he streamed in this room right here, and I, I was so confused. I was like, why is he streaming in like an attic? Turns out he was gearing up for one of the crazy craziest setups we've ever seen for a streamer in the world. I'm so jealous. It makes me want to completely redo my setup. But bearing in mind, this is just at number four, three, bigger and better than this. You can see how the room started off. Uh, it took months and months and months of planning, prepping, and so expensive to get all of this custom stuff done. I'm sure of it. Now, I do know that Red Bull supported this and were behind this. Whether or not they did it for free, whether or not Ninja's there to pay for a lot of it. When you've got as many followers as him, crazy things happen. And sometimes they literally just give it to you for free. Believe it or not. Obviously, this process is big. Look at this. You have no idea what's going on. And then he opens up the door with all of it having been finished over the few months. The lighting alone. Oh my gosh, it's just crazy. Look at that. All of the cool stuff on the shelves, drinks, books, plaques. And then, again, a triple monitor setup. See that crazy ultra-wide? I've got an ultra-wide, but it's not as ultra-wide as that one. Drinks whenever he wants it. Quad monitor behind him. Triple monitor pl to play on. TV behind him, microphone, studio pro audio setup. Oh my gosh. When you enter that room, you know you are ready to game. I'm actually going to say something a little bit controversial here. All of these guys are using gaming chairs. I actually have never really felt comfy in a gaming chair. Oh my gosh, a dog setup. I need that. 
We could have it for Lexi and Evie. You could, you could feed them and they could chill behind you whenever you want. Crazy TVs back in just literally to have his logo on. Oh, an analyst TV and then an 82-inch TV. Just to, I've never seen him in my life on his stream ever use that 80-inch screen, but it's there. He actually has a slightly, in fact, you know what? Far better camera setup than Tfue set up in that original one. You can see the camera in the background. I think that camera alone would cost, honestly, five to 10,000 for the quality of what it is. It looks absolutely nuts. And the lighting can change whenever you want. I mean, this really took custom gaming setups from just being a room, which honestly mine is, to be honest with you, it's not that crazy, to what is literally a studio setup in his own house. It is crazy. If we ever move house or I ever feel like I've got enough time on my hands, I would love to do something as crazy as this. What do you reckon? An alley room as crazy as this? Look at that. Honestly, if I had to estimate building costs, screens alone, I mean, you're probably talking well over a hundred thousand pounds dollars i genuinely think so huge amount of money but when you're somebody like ninja and it's your full-time job it's a hundred percent worth it coming in at number three this is the one i'm probably most excited to take a look at just because of how unique it is bearing in mind we've got even more unique even more crazy things to come this is just insane you may have seen it before you may not have seen it before essentially what we're about to look at is a insane triple monitor 4k surround crazy custom gaming beast rig put together i believe actually by my friend unbox therapy or lou he actually helped make my gaming setup better back when i lived with my parents and i just was working out of my own room look at this thing the chair now that is a chair you want to spend some time in none of none of the other chairs that we've seen so far the pc box alone the lights the food the screens oh my gosh for rarity alone this thing deserves to be in the number three position. It is utterly insane. Now, we're used to seeing streamers with triple monitors in front of them, but imagine just being able to move around back and forth with a crazy beast of a PC powering it behind you. Even the ability to switch between consoles. I forgot about this. Oh my gosh. A PlayStation in there. I'm sure you could hook up a Switch, a Wii, an Xbox, whatever you want. And a crazy lighting setup just because. This thing wants to be extra. A custom Coca-Cola fridge and snacks to go along with it as well. Not even necessary, but if you don't want to move and you want to be one of the comfiest places in the world to play games, oh my gosh. The controller, the keyboard, the headphones, the mouse all swivel out with a custom movable and the displays even lift up and then it's time to get in everything closes in on you you are locked in you are not about to move for the next 24 days because you're about to game in heaven this thing is nuts arguably i would say maybe the screens are a little bit too close for my liking i like to be quite far oh he's adjusted it. there you go <laughs> well i take it back recline get your feet up feel comfy the screens you everything in perfect harmony even a footrest oh my gosh this is crazy one thing i would say about the surface area is that for people that like to do a lot of movement and i say a lot of the pro pc players need a lot of mouse space there isn't quite enough there for controller players we're chilling we're vibing but i mean hey look he's pulling it off we're seeing it right now fortnite triple monitor gaming setup i mean like, even the HUD, the map, and the weapons have their own screen. I mean, this is a little old video now, so Fortnite was really OG then, but it worked, and he managed to map the game perfectly. Can you imagine playing on this? Give this video a thumbs up if you would ever want to play games on this setup. Maybe I can get in contact with Lou. Maybe he's still got it, and maybe I could give it a go. I honestly don't know if this would cost more than Ninja Setup, but the rarity of it and the price to research it, put it all together and make it, almost makes it, you know, unpriceable. It's absolutely insane, and I knew you guys would love it. Well, okay, we're into the top two now. This is the newest of the craziest streamer setups where Ninja was, was cool, and my boy, Nick Merckx, I believe the most subscribed person on Twitch at the moment at the time of recording this video, he took it to another level. An entire gaming underground bunker. If you've not seen this, oh my gosh, you're in for a, an absolute treat. This is his old setup. That's very similar to my triple monitors in a room on a desk. And he was like, no, in my recording room, I want to have an entire underground basement. 
He has doors that electronically open up as you walk towards it. He has custom tiles on the ceilings, on the walls, in all over the place. And as you enter, there's a giant comfy sofa with a huge 80 plus, plus inch TV where you can just vibe out and chill with starlights above you and you're not even in the area where you start playing games. Yes, that's why this one is so high up on the list. Just look at that. That alone would be enough to be one of the greatest setups in the world. But look in the background. This is where he streams. This is where he can have LAN setups. This is where his mates can come and play. And it's all... There's even a waterfall. There's a waterfall in this gaming room. How... If this is what we're seeing right now, I cannot wait to see what we're going to be getting in the next few years. Maybe I need to one-up it. And if it's possible, should I try and do something bigger and crazier than this? I don't know, man. Nick has absolutely killed it. In this LAN setup here, you've got four players with their own headsets, their own screens, their own PCs, their own controllers or keyboard and mouse, all powered with the best tech possible. And this isn't even where Nick's going to play. I don't even know if anyone's come and played on these yet. Often you set up these crazy LAN setups or places for other people to play and you just never end up using it. I hope, Nick, for your sake that you have because it looks insane. Look at that. I can't believe there's a waterfall in his setup. The biggest flex I've ever seen. Look at that. The, the super wide screen up the top is so sick. For streamers, I know they like to have chat up there. They like to have donations up there. The ceiling looks like it's on fire with custom tiles. It's got hexagonal parts as well. It's got 240 hertz monitors. And once he's in that area, he is absolutely chilling. He's in his zone. Uh, uh, oh my gosh, look how many PCs are in the background as well. That must be his double monitor setup as well. It looks like CCTV around the house as well to make sure nobody's lurking. Always a good idea. And can you just imagine sitting there? Could you imagine being Nick Merckx right now, sat there chilling? Yo, this is my setup. Absolutely insane. I want to know from you guys, which one are you preferring so far? Have you got a best setup, something that you'd like to copy? Let me know because I know all of these are crazy. With a total price tag I don't even want to know. It's more than just a ninja room. There aren't quite as many crazy screens, but it's all been custom built. I reckon hundreds of thousands of dollars. Genuinely, not joking, the price tag would be insane. Coming in at number one, we've got something super exclusive, super secretive. So far, it has only been found, well, I don't even know where it's been found. We're going to take a look at an exclusive clip here of what could be the crazy future of gaming. I saw this clip online. I had to share it with you guys. Possibly no price tag you could physically put on there. Not even available to the public yet. But if you are some sort of crazy billionaire that wants the greatest game setup ever installed in your house, you're looking at it right here. Can't tell you where it's found or how to get it. But all of it I know is that this could quite possibly be the future of gaming. It's like physical VR without the VR headset because there's so many screens. It is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think of that. Guys, insane setups, insane price tags. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see mine. Like I said, check out more videos on screen here. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you over there. Click a video right now. I'll see you in a sec.